Hey, welcome to Gourmet Fishing. I'm your host, David Murray. On today's show, we're going to create a fishing rig, uh, but more specifically, a fishing rig for deep dropping, a deep drop rig for when we're out fishing for golden tiles, blue tiles, snowy groupers, pond fruit, queen snappers, and, you know, 600, 800, 1,000 feet of water, and we're using, you know, up to eight pounds of lead. Now, of course, we're not and cranking those we're definitely will be using the electric reels but i tell you what we're going to sit here we're going to create together our own deep drop rig right now all right let's get started creating our deep drop rig now i've got a uh, hundred pound um monofilament right here just plain monofilament leader. Um, you know, a lot of times I like using up to uh, up to 200 pounds, depending kind of sort of on what you're targeting and what you <laughs> hope you're going to catch. But the first thing we're going to do, um, you know, is figure out how long we need our leader to be. I'm putting five hooks on here. Uh, I'm about five foot eleven, so you know I've got maybe that that's close to six feet. So I got about seven feet of of leader kind of sort of uncoiled. Now what I'm trying to do is I'm gonna, I wanna have my weight, then I wanna have a hook about a foot up from that, a foot up, foot up, foot up, boom, 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 all the way up to the top to where we take our swivel and attach our uh, uh, rod and reel line to our rig. Now, with that being said, we've got these little things right here. Um, I'll tell you what, we'll just let that fall. Uh, they're, they're called slip swivels. Uh, it's almost like a crimp, almost it is a crimp just like this uh with a swivel around it and um that just allows us to set our heights and then crimp those uh, uh swivels onto our the main part of our leader so what i want to do first is i want to thread our slip swivels onto our main line because i'm not going to cut this main leader quite yet because i'm not sure if i got enough uh, enough on here. So here we go. Now we've got five. So I'm going to I'm going to create a five hook rig. Now our first um, uh, task of crimping is to make a loop for our weight uh, attached to. And we can we can be fishing with up to like eight pounds of <laughs> of lead. I mean that thing's about this long. It's about that big around. And neat thing th th using those is they fit into a, a standard rod. Holder. So we're looking for a loop that's going to be probably about two inches in diameter so we can slip this thing over our weight. Now, you know, these are the weights that I've got for just to, just to show how we're going to slip it on. Uh, yeah, just because they're they're not as, as clumsy as the other ones. So here we go. Our first crimp of the day. What I'm trying to do is leave just a little bit of of our leader on the outside of our crimp. So we're gonna come through here, and these crimps are sized to our line. Now what I'm gonna, don't want to do with, with these pliers is get all the way to the edge and, and push the crimp and, and squeeze it because that's gonna create a kind of a, a sharp edge. Now by doing it this way, what I did is when I crimped it, that, that end kind of flared out. So it, you know, it doesn't really have a, a sharp edge pushing, you know, kind of onto our leader. So I'm going to come back and then we're going to, um, let's see, I'm going to rotate, uh, I don't need to rotate that one. So I'm going to come in here and then do the same thing on this side. Push down and voila, we now have our crimp ready for our weight. Now next, let's see. We can come over here and leave these right here. Don't get too much of a mess. And we're gonna create one of these. These are kind of like the little extensions off our main line where we uh, bait up our hooks and, and hope something eats them. So let's go ahead and make uh, one of those. I got three made up. We'll make two of them right here and show you how, how I create those. So here we go. We've got crimp. We've got our hook like so again this is not not these this isn't really a tough rig to make so just like this again make it kind of tight and have just a little bit of that end poking out we're going to come in not too close to the edge just like so 
and squeeze. Same thing on this side and squeeze down. There we go. Those little, uh, those little ends flare out like a bell and that's exactly what we want. Then we can take our crimp protector, which glows in the dark because there there's, there's, there's no light down below 600 feet. So, you know, it's nice to when, uh, you know, to have a little bit of an attractor on these, uh, you know, so, so they kind of sort of glow in the dark. Now we're going to come in and we're just going to uh, push those crimp, uh, crimp uh, sleeves down just uh, just just a little past. Now you'll have to adjust these as as you're fishing. Um, we'll get to to these in a minute. These are the beads that go on. So there, that was quick and simple, wasn't it? Let's so let's make one more, just like this. Again, we're going to add our our crimp, then our circle hook, just like so. Back through, just like that. Ah, it's trying to catch me. Just like this. One, you know, just something. Something looks like that. And we'll come in. Like I said, these the the crimps are sized to our line, and we've got little notches right here on these pliers that are sized for our crimps. So just like that, we've got our little what are we going to call these feeder feeder lines that'll work <laughs> so here we go just like so ow about hooked myself about caught something right here <laughs> so now we have our five um feeder hooks and now it's time to come in here and get our our um our deep drop rig put together so we've got our our five slip swivels right here just like that now how do we uh set the, the 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 spacing or or the location of this swivel well that all depends on this little guy right here so first we need to come in and attach this to our swivel well you know what i almost forgot to do was to put on <laughs> our little bead so just like that now we come in and we add our swivel, I mean our, our uh, crimping sleeve, and we take our crimping sleeve, just like that, pull it kind of sort of tight, and then we're going to come in and crimp away, just like this, okay, add pressure there, and just like so, okay, now look at that, we are now ready to place our um our hook our, our uh, swivel location that's what i'm trying to say so let's come up here pull this what i don't want to happen is for my hook to have a chance to get caught up in this loop so here we go you know what that's got that i think that'll be a perfect location so now i'm going to hold this and I'm going to come in here and I'm going to crimp my swivel just like that okay and right, there it is all right now we've got our first hook set just like that so as it as as we're dropping or pulling up this thing will not get attached or hooked up with our weight and that's what we're looking for so here we go let's keep on going let's see what we can do here so again we've going to come in with one of our hooks we got to add our bead like so another crimp like that and i caught the stove and then we'll come back just like this add our crimp just like that and then we'll pull this tight Again, we're trying to leave just a little bit of that leader material out. Come in here and crimp away. Again, I can keep telling you all this, don't get too close to that edge. We want to create a little bell or a flare on the end of our um, crimp. All right, so let's come in here and figure out where we want this to go. Well, we don't want it to get caught in that swivel, so I'm going to come up just a tad. 
like so. One last time, that looks good. I'm gonna come in, make sure you get the right um, size little crimp hole, and off you go. One and a two. And voila, there it is. How about that? Now we've got two of these guys set up. And we're gonna do this three more times. All right, we've got our last one to do. I went ahead and trimmed this off because I kind of know exactly where the end of my rig's gonna be. So here, we got one more to crimp. Let's go ahead and grab this guy. All right, you're kind of sort out of the way. Let's see. Now I'm gonna come in again. We're gonna do our crimp. And again, with these, with these little uh, sliding uh, 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 swivels here with the crimps on them, they're sized just like our, our regular crimps. You know, they're sized for specific diameters of line. Make sure you get the right, right diameter for, um, uh, you know, the right line. So, now, look at this guy. I don't know if you can't even see the end of that. But anyway, here we are. Now, what I want to do is I want to finish this off. I'm going to take this, and I'm going to go make that hook go all the way up. So it, it's kind of like when we're dropping it. When we're dropping it down, we don't want this top hook to get caught up in our swivel. So let's come in, add a crimp, just like that. And now I'm going to loop it back through to create a loop, just like that. Okay. Now there are a couple of things we can do here. We can use this chafing material thread it around uh, um, our loop so that our swivel doesn't, because uh, there's going to be a lot of pressure, uh, hopefully, <laughs> catching fish up on this end, and we don't want our, our leader material to, to chafe and, you know, create a weak spot. So we can use this uh, material here, or we can use this little guy here, which is like a little uh, splicing loop. It all looks like a little horseshoe. So what? that's what I'm going to use. So I'm going to come in. Hopefully I won't drop it again. <laughs> and we're going to get that line set kind of straight. So just like that. You see how that is? We got a little loop. It also glows in the dark, which is a plus. Now I'm going to check one more time to make sure we'll be safe. No, that's, that's about right. That'll work. So now we're going to come in and I'm going to make that a little tighter. And then we're going to crimp just like so, here we are. Boom, there we are. We got it, just like that. Come back down like this. Everything's good. Now I'm gonna come in here and trim that off. We've got our top piece. Look at all those hooks, man. That's gotta be something gonna be in the bottom of that thing, isn't it? I mean, heck, check all those hooks out, man. Oh, can't wait to get out. So, okay, let, let's, we're gonna make believe. <laughs> We've got our four, six, eight pound uh, weight. We're gonna come in here and we'll take this uh, weight loop and we will feed, feed it through and then put our weight through here just like that and wham, there's our weight. Okay, we're ready to go. Now at the top part, what we're gonna do, careful. Um, okay, let's, you know, I didn't bring a rod up or anything like that, but you know, here's, a little mock-up of what it would probably be, which is a, you know, I've got a, a bimini twist right here, double line with our swivel. And what we will do, um, i tell you what, I'm gonna, I'm going to put you right there. Uh, the first thing we'll do is we will add a, a light to the top. Now, this little light's not on, but watch this. When the minute you put it in this water, boom, look at that. It, uh, it completes the circuit somehow magically not really um so you, you know all kind of colors you can use that was a blue you know boom there's the green that uh you know i think we've always seen uh you know the siloom light sticks or whatever you use you know for sword fishing and deep dropping so here we go we'll put that on here and we'll come in we'll add our um uh, our deep drop rig and now we are tangled <laughs> and ready to go fishing. How about that? That was quick, that was easy. Um, 
you know, it'll be a little easier when, when you're on the boat with this thing. But anyway, but no, man, we are ready to load this up with some squid, get on some good numbers, take a deep drop, and pull up some unbelievable table fare. Like I said, you know, we can get the queen snappers, the snowy groupers, the blue and golden tiles, the, uh, uh, the rosies that are out there, uh, all kinds of neat fish waiting for us in the deeps of the ocean. So I tell you what, man, this was fun. Hey, subscribe to the channel down here. We've got another great rigging video. This one's on Ballyhoo. Check it out. And I tell you what, until next time, God bless and hey, we'll see you soon.